Hello and welcome to Rando Tech Info and today we're going to try to answer the question, do smart scales really work? Now we're not going to worry about things like weight and BMI because I think it's assumed that most scales can handle those tasks regardless of how smart they are. So today we are going to specifically be looking at the scale's ability to measure body composition which includes body fat percentage, visceral fat, and bone mass. If you don't know what these different types of measurements are, don't worry. I'm going to explain them to you. If you do already know what these different types of fats and masses are, then also no worries. You can skip ahead to the next part of the video using the timestamps below. How do you like your choices? Starting with body fat, WebMD says the human body is made up of bones, muscles, organs, water, and fat. In weight loss measurements, the term body fat refers to the percentage of body mass that is only fat. Therefore, body fat percentage is the total mass of fat divided by total body mass multiplied by 100, and this is often used as an indicator of overall health or fitness. Next, we have visceral fat, and according to WebMD, too much of any body fat is bad for your health, but compared to the fat that lies just underneath your skin, the visceral kind is more likely to raise your risk for serious medical issues. Visceral fat is the fat that wraps around your abdominal organs deep inside your body, and it's measured in pounds. Finally, bone mass is simply the total pounds of bone mass in your entire body. This measurement can be used as an indicator of your bone density, and higher bone density usually means stronger bones. The specific smart scale we used to generate our measurements for this little experiment was the Ugramo Fit Pro Smart Body Scale, which I actually reviewed a few months back. For your convenience, I will leave a link to that review as well as a link to purchase the scale down in the description. I don't get anything if you use the link, I'm just providing it as a convenience to you. What a nice young man. And to test the scale's accuracy, we are comparing the scale's measurements to the measurements obtained from the Dexafit St. Louis location where they use the dual energy absorb ab Samba absorptiometry method for body composition analysis. If you want to know more about this analysis method, I will leave a link to the Dexafit website down in the description, but the short version is it's FDA approved and it's supposed to be pretty dang accurate. The scale does its body composition measurements using a method called bioelectrical impedance, which in this case is done by the scale sending a low level electrical current up one of your legs, across your pelvis, and down your other leg. Sensors in the scale measure the resistance or impedance the current experiences along its journey through the body to determine the body's composition. Other scales and machines may measure BEI differently, sometimes using hands and feet or a combination of both. Obviously, in the case of this foot scale, the measurements will only be taken using the lower half of the body. And a shout out to my friend Wayne, who has graciously volunteered to share his fat and bone measurements for science. He asked that we keep his contribution anonymous, so for the sake of this video, we will simply refer to him as Mr. Kerr. So now let's look at some fat. So here on the left, you can see all the measurements generated from the Ugramo Smart Scale. In the middle and on the right, you can see the Dexafit measurements, and as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, we will be focusing on total body fat percentage, visceral fat, and bone mass. Starting with body fat, the smart scale put Mr. Kerr's body fat at 45%, where the Dexafit reading puts him at 26.6%. This is a huge difference, like a not even close huge difference. The good news for my friend is the Dexa results, which should be considered the much more accurate results, are much more rosy than the smart scale results. Percentage-wise, the results were even more varied when it came to visceral fat. The scale put Mr. Kerr's visceral fat at 16 pounds, where the DEXA method put his fat at 5 pounds. Captain Math tells me the scale put his visceral fat over 300% higher than the DEXA method. Strangely enough, the scale completely nailed bone mass. Both measurement methods produced the exact same result of 8.8 .8 pounds. So what can we take away from these results? Well, the scale seemed to perfectly nail bone mass, so props for that. As for the fat measurements, the scale was not very accurate. So does that make the scale's fat data gathering completely worthless? I would say not entirely. While the actual fat measurement numbers are not accurate, I do actually find the scale to be pretty consistent on a day-to-day -day basis. When looking at my own body fat measurements over time using the scale, there wasn't much variance. My weight was relatively consistent and my body fat percentage mostly followed suit. It never measured my body fat percentage higher than 27.5% or lower than 26.7%. So while the scale's actual body fat percentages are not entirely accurate, I do think once you establish a baseline, the scale can at least let you know if you are gaining or losing body fat. So you can at least know if you are trending the right way, which I would say is better than nothing. But if you want some truly accurate body fat measurements, then I would say a smart scale's biological impedance is probably going to be a bit lacking and you might want to go to your local gym, doctor, or clinic 
to get yourself scanned up. Well, that's all the information I have for today, but I'm curious, would you ever consider buying a smart scale? Or if you do own a smart scale, do you think it was worth the money you paid for it? Let me know down in the comments. As always, I hope you find this video useful. Thanks for watching. And until next time, this is Rando Tech Info, signing out.